What's up everybody, this is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com coming at you today bringing you a quick mix tip on doubling vocals. <laughs> What's up everybody, this is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Today I was in the middle of mixing this track and I was working on um, the, the vocal double section and I wanted to add a delay to the this vocal right here. And what I was running into when I was, after I had made my effects channel, was that the delay was it doing too much. Like I didn't want to delay the whole vocal line and I'll show you what I did here. So I didn't like, you know, in the context of everything else, I didn't like having the whole um, lines go going ahead and uh, playing over with the delay over and over again. So the way that I fixed that was I went ahead and duplicated this track. And all you have to do to do that is hold down Alt and drag, um, drag the track down. And it'll give you this option if you see on the screen where it says duplicate track complete and that'll go ahead and copy all the effects that you've done so far um all your routing and everything of that nature it's 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 the best way to duplicate a track um so what i've been doing is i've just been i've got this on solo right now and i i've just been going ahead and using the cut tool and getting rid of the uh the parts of the phrase that i don't want to say so or i don't want to double so instead of the whole line repeating itself it's just the last word which is a way better effect So like this next line, I just I just want to say this last word here. This line, I think it, I think that's all I want. Here, I think it's just this one. And here, I believe it's just this one. Let's go ahead and listen to them. All right, so we'll zoom in, get rid of this, put a little fade on it. I really love working with audio. Um, inside Studio One, it's just it, it gives me all the stuff that I liked about Logic and all the stuff that I liked about Pro Tools, with the um, with the 3.3 update, with just the magic cursor and everything. Like it's it's so intuitive. Now, because because I doubled this um, this track that's coming from that's coming from this double section, what he did is he's got he's got his main chorus vocal, then he's got a couple doubles, and what I don't want to do is have this section here. Um, at, you know, after I went ahead and and got a balance and everything, I don't want to double, you know, the frequent, you know, just the um, have a redundant track essentially just making the volume louder in these sections so what i'm going to do is i'm just i'm going to go ahead and center this so that um so that the uh the effect that i have set up on an effects channel goes ahead and hears it but i don't want to hear the actual um the actual signal in the context of the song so i went ahead and did that and you'll notice when when i turn down the volume now we don't have the delay. If you just want to hear the delay and you don't want to hear this added track in the back, you click this button right here and now that'll that'll play that'll play the effect without you having to um 
without um, having the volume of your channel um, in influenced by that. You see, it's just it's just the effect uh, the effect channel coming out. now when you play that in the context of the song it's like it's like the um, the effect is listening to this track but in actuality because because these two tracks are the same so it's like the effect is listening to this track but in actuality it's using this one so let me just make sure I got everything straight here I don't need this anymore don't need this anymore. And now when you listen to it in context, you will be able to hear that delay. Your love is what I need right now. Your love fills me up. Girl, I want you more. Girl, I want you more. Girl, I want you more. Yeah. All right, Studio One is going to have a heart attack because I got the camera going. I got screen record going i got like 30 auto tunes up so yeah i just wanted to show you guys that quick trick um i know um a lot of a lot of people when they're starting out they don't know the the pre and post um effects busing and that's a real simple explanation of that so hopefully you guys can use this in your mi in your mixes keep it simple don't be basic concrete zebra with craft master productions and studio one tutorials.com and we will see you on the next one